Don't ask, don't tell. The controversial law banning gays from openly serving in the military could soon be a thing of the past. I hope. The House voted yesterday to repeal it, and now it's in the Senate's hands. Some Republicans there have changed their minds to support the repeal. But will that be enough? Here now to discuss this and more, our political commentator, Ron Reagan, Reagan and Dana Lash, editor of BigJournalism.com and radio host on KFT 97.1 FM. Uh, you know, I'm sorry I say Reagan. I get confused. It's, it's a t difficult name. And <laughs> <laughs> there was a Don Reagan. There's a, there's a Ronald Reagan. There's a Ron we, Reagan. There's a we used to be Reagans. <laughs> we used to actually, back in Ireland, we were the O'Regan. See, so, well, I just went yeah. back to Ireland for a second yeah. there. Yeah. So, Ron, uh, the Senate is going to vote to repeal DADT? Well, we, we hope so. Now, yeah, Harry Reid says he's going to, he's going to allow, the, allow this to come up for a vote. Uh, we really have to watch to see whether he schedules a vote and whether that vote is scheduled before Christmas. If he waits till after Christmas, which Republicans would like him to do, uh, it's possible that some Democrats could not come home from uh, Christmas vacation or come back to Washington from Christmas vacation and you'd lose votes. We're at 60 right now, apparently, with four uh, Republicans now on board, or four, three Republicans and Blanche Lincoln now uh, back uh -huh. uh, in, in the Senate. Well, that, so, that, that um, would be Senator Snow, Brown, and Murkowski. Right, uh -huh. exactly, exactly. So, you know, if, if Reid can schedule a vote now, the votes seem to be there, 60 votes uh, for the repeal. Yeah. But, uh, but it's all about the timing. Okay. Uh, Dana, now, why are most Republicans not willing to repeal it, despite the polls showing almost 8 in 10 Americans support gays serving openly in the military? Why can't they just do it? I think right now what they're what they're doing, Joy, is they're it's not so much as it's substance. They're looking at this from a procedural a procedural point of view, and that you have to remember Republicans back before the lame duck session started. They said, "Look, this is these are some of the things that we need to have done. The tax extension, the tax rate extension, <coughs> must be passed before we start considering other pieces of legislation." So, if they if they flinch at all, it's going to look very bad in public relations terms for the GOP. So, and I think that they're just looking at it as to what is immediately going to impact people after the first of the year. And uh -huh. they're playing all sorts of games, Joy. Uh, Jim DeMint, of course, wants the entire 1,900-page omnibus spending bill read aloud before Why not? it's allowed they to be voted. Why not? They haven't read it. They yeah. haven't read it. Do you, yeah. are, so wait, I, I, I Ron, are you telling me? they don't me, need to read it. Are you, you telling you, me you, that they don't need to read legislation before they do, pass do it if that, it's a trillion dollars? Do you think that senators dollars? actually read 1,900-page uh, bills, Dana? Do you well, really they think ought that they to. Do? Now, look, Ordinarily? I realize that they're lobbyists Do you really think that Jim DeMint wants, I realize is, that they're wants lobbyists to educate the Senate? Do you think Jim DeMint is trying to educate the Senate by having this bill read? Or do you think he's trying to push things back into the next term so that he feels he'll get a better deal? So you support passing trillion-dollar legislation without reading it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in this case. Okay, now what about yeah. Senator McCain? Who is he pandering to, Dana? McCain, I don't... <sighs> I don't really try to pretend to even want to get into John McCain's mind. I am, I, he's not one of my favorite people on earth. Why not? I, uh, well, I haven't been very impressed with his big rhino record. I think that a lot of the stuff that he does is, is pretty much just advantageous. He's not, he's not one of my favorite uh, Republicans. Is he not conservative enough for you? No, he's, no, he's never been conservative enough for me. Well, he is on this, on this uh, topic. Even though, you know, uh, Senator, uh, Defense Secretary Gates, Admiral Mullen support repealing, he still doesn't want to repeal it. He should know better. Well, and it, then again, too, Joy, I look at it like this. Personally, don't ask, don't tell when I look at what this is, what the military should be. When you, when you go into the military, when you volunteer to be a part of the military, individuality ceases to have any significance once you join the military. It does, nobody cares what, or should care what your sexual orientation is. They shouldn't care what music you like, what your favorite food is. Nobody gives a crap. People need to get over self-importance and focus on but service. But apparently they do. To, to me, it's bad policy. I mean, I was reading that dozens of Arabic translators were kicked out of the military because they were gay. That's really stupid. That's just stupid. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> and dangerous. You know, what's, you, you know what's amazing is is to, to to recognize the low opinion the people who support "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" appear to have of our fighting men and women. I mean, you would really think that the people in the Marines, if you listen to General Amos, are all a bunch of juvenile bigots that they they just simply can't handle the stress mm -hmm. of having an openly gay person or a gay man or well, lesbian that's not, anywhere that's not near them. the perspective them. that I hear. What I hear are people. Oh, that's the perspective no, no, I no. hear. No, what I hear from people, and just on my show today, I had a ton of veterans who called in from all branches of the service, and they were saying, "Look, we don't care. We served with." 
gay people. Gays have served before Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which mm -hmm. I don't know why Democrats put it into, into effect in the first place, but they're freaking either. out trying to get it out of the way. Yeah, Gays will that was serve a bad idea. after Don't Ask, Don't yeah. Tell. The point that I heard from every single veteran who called into my show today was, look, the point, is, the most important thing is, can you serve? Can you serve? Can you mm -hmm. serve well? We don't exactly. care what you are. Quit putting the focus on individuality. It's all about breaking a person down, yeah, rebuilding if, them up yeah, to be a part if, of a cohesive that's what, that's unit. But what if I'm they're saying, outed, if, they fight, if people find out you're gay, then you lose your, your job. It's a job, too, you know. Absolutely. It's a job, too. Yeah. But also, infidelity is illegal. You can get court-martialed if you cheat on your wife in the military. There are a lot of this things This is in the different. Military. This is about who you are. It's yeah. very difficult, I think, to be in the closet all day and all night, night constantly. It's very unfair. Well, it's also, it forces people to lie, which would seem to be against, uh, you know, military ethics. One would ethics. think. Uh, yeah, one would think. But again, Dana was making my point. I don't think that our military uh, personnel, our, our fighting men and women, if you will, are all, you know, wee-weed up, as Sarah Palin might say, about serving alongside gay people. They know they already do. It's just some of the people that are fighting this repeal who seem to think that they're such juvenile bigots that they can't handle it. Let me uh, ask you something, Ron. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ron. President Obama released this statement. We must ensure that Americans who are willing to risk their lives for their country are treated fairly and equally by their country. Mm -hmm. If this gets repealed, do you give any credit to the president or do you blame him for taking so long? Well, I don't think he, uh, he got out, and, out in front of this parade, uh, if you will. He may have made a political calculation in that, though, that if he did get out in front too much on this, that the Republicans would get even more obstructionist about it, would dig in their heels even more about Don't Ask, Don't Tell, because they would see it as a signature issue for him. And, of course, they wanted to stop anything that he's going to do. Uh, so he may have made that political judgment. I I'm not sure. I don't know. The Tea Party seems to be all about the will of the people. Well, this is the will of the people. Mm -hmm. It's time to move, move, move on from this, don't you think, Dana? I've got to go. Thank you guys very much. We'll be right back. Yeah.